Ron Burgundy coming to you live. J.A. Yeah. Ron, D. Nice, Balake, yeah. all here. What's up, guys? I'm Jared from Florida Freedivers and Eric Schraus, also with Florida Freedivers. And today we are going to go over good, better, best for fin options. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start with the good option, which is going to be the plastic blades, probably your more entry level, uh, what you would get into, come in and just look at, um, you know, at the lower price point and wanting to just kind of get some entry level stuff. So what exactly are we going to get out of a plastic fin? Well, for... <laughs> First and foremost, you're going to get um, cost efficiency, right? So as we talk more about some of the other options here, we're gonna talk about free diving efficiency, but the plastic blades are a great way to get into the sport and get into a set of long fins so you can start to really feel how a long fin performs versus a shorter setup um, and start to learn that like base technique of how to really kick a long fin. Um, they're gonna be significantly less expensive than any other composite option. So for somebody just getting into the sport that doesn't quite want to foot the bill for something like one of these fiberglass or carbons here, they're a great way to just get your feet wet, literally, and um, see what the long fin and the freediving fin scene is all about. Cool. I would say some common disadvantages to a plastic fin, just to kind of see what the comparison is going to be, is one, after a certain amount of time, they, be t they tend to become a little warped and lose their shape. Um, I see all the time, you know, a guy leave them on our boat, leave them in the garage or something, they come back and they look like they're been supporting, you know, a uh, weighted, like weightlifting bench or something like that. <laughs> they almost look like they're crushed in half. Yeah. Um, the other thing though, too, is I find that the plastic just kind of doesn't keep any efficiency as long as a, maybe a fiberglass or a carbon blade would. Yes. It kind of loses that, that pop or that, that uh, inertia that it might have. Yeah, you're exactly right. And one thing we'll talk about a little bit more with the composites as well, but s blade stiffness is a, a pretty key factor into how the blade's going to perform overall. Um, efficiency is one thing. You can't really achieve peak efficiency out of a plastic blade. It just is what it is. They don't quite have the snap or the pop, like you were saying, yeah. that some of the other blades will have. Um, however, you can get some relatively stiff plastic blades and that stiffness will give you a lot of power. Um, so you will get, you can get better power out of composite blades. However, that stiffness, if it's, a, if it's a really hard blade to bend, you can still get a pretty good amount of power out of some of these, such as like um, the Cressy 2000s are a real oh, stiff yeah. fin, a very popular fin, and they're a very powerful setup. Yeah. Um, so they do have a couple advantages. Plastics are generally more durable than some of the other options, although today composites are so good that yeah. you know, there's a lot of the fiberglass blades are still pretty durable. Um, so the plastic's a great way to start. Yeah. They give you power if you need it. Um, they also make nice flexible ones so they're not too difficult to kick if you don't want to go that route. And uh, they're inexpensive, which yeah. everybody loves that. Price point's definitely there. <laughs> the one thing I think that you do want to look for in a plastic blade if you are looking to get into free diving more eventually is a removable foot pocket. So yeah. these have removable foot pockets. Some of the other ones like Eric mentioned, the Cressy 2000 is not removable. Correct. Um, so that's going to inhibit you to later replace the blade into another fiberglass blade or a carbon blade. Um, whatever that you might want to fit back into if you really find a foot pocket that you love. So if you are finding a plastic blade and looking to get into it, I would definitely suggest a removable foot pocket like these SEAC Modises. Um, and there's different variations of them out there, but I, I think that's always a, a good thing if you fall in love with a foot pocket. Absolutely. And as well, you're not going to have to spend more money down the line to right. buy another set of foot pockets, Absolutely. right? So. Once you have these foot pockets, it's actually one of the main costs of the like buying a full fin, plastic fin setup. The blades themselves aren't very expensive, but the foot pockets are, they carry a decent price tag to them because they're a high quality product. Um, but you can take these with you down the road through different sets of fins. So you don't always have to spend that money again down the line. 
um, if you do want to upgrade the fin as you get progressed through the sport. So Yeah, absolutely. So that being said, uh, I guess our next step down the line, our middle of the road, our better, yeah, our you better say, option, um, is going to be a fiberglass blade. Yeah. Right, so that's kind of starting to get us into the world of composites. And I generally tell people, you know, a lot of people like to ask, well, is there really a difference between the plastic blade and so on and so forth? And the answer to that is yes. There is a massive difference between a plastic blade and a composite. And the difference going from a plastic to a fiberglass blade is, I'm going to say, it's like a night and day difference. It's a massive yeah. difference. Going from a fiberglass to the next step up um, is definitely noticeable, but it's not quite as much of a difference. So the fiberglass blades, obviously within the name, they are made out of fiberglass. There are different variations that you can get, different colors. Right here we have our Florida Freedivers blades. I feel like it's gonna hit me in the face. Not a choice. All right. Uh, <laughs> so we've got two different colors of these blades. We have a black and a blue. Um, the blue camo if you're trying to be super stealthy. Oh yeah. No and fiberglass, does. like how we were talking about the plastics, they don't quite have the pop that you're looking for. The fiberglass blades are gonna give you a lot more snap and that snap is where your efficiency comes from. So as you load that blade and it's bending through your kick cycle, it's gonna pop back out every time you switch your foot direction or your kick direction and that extra snap pushes a little bit more water, therefore gets you a little bit farther down in the water column. Yeah. Um, so that's where that efficiency role starts coming into play. I've also seen scuba divers kind of get into some fiberglass fins because they want definitely a little bit more, you know, momentum, inertia, and they don't want to kind of get into these plastic fins and, you know, they kind of want that in between middle of the road fin. Absolutely. Um, but I mean, the fiberglass, I think, is a good choice for anyone, you know, if you're using them as a hybrid uh or you know going back and forth or just free diving and kind of looking for that middle you know middle of the road price point for what you want um they're really really good fins really durable i mean it's still something that i would feel confident to where if i had to push off the bottom or you know some rocky surface i'm not going to snap the blade or for sure anything like that yeah that's something i was going to mention real quick is the durability so plastic blades are known for being super super durable you can yeah. pretty much beat the crap out of them um Typically, composite blades have always been thought of to be a little bit more fragile. Fiberglass in itself is a super durable material. It's very high impact resistance, um, can handle a lot of scratches and hits against rocks and that kind of thing. So you don't really have to worry about tearing these up. So they're great for shore diving, guys that are doing like hardcore shore, shore dives where you know, you're getting in and out of like a surfy, rocky area. The fiberglass versus a carbon might be a better option for you. Um, depends on the brain. You know, there's some carbon blades that are super durable as yeah. well. But I think that'll kind of lead us into our, yeah. into our best option here. Yeah, absolutely. So I think this is definitely on the best scale. Um, just picking up right away, I noticed that this is a lot lighter. Um, that does not mean that we're going to lose efficiency because it's so light. The amount of pop that you can get from a carbon fiber blade and then still with the durability having Oh man, almost got gotcha. you. <laughs> um, is really transversed into efficiency for free diving. Absolutely. Um, I, I have these, you know, the flights myself, and I was amazed first time I kicked them, you know, how easy it is to have such a nice blade, carbon fiber blade, and feel like, you know, you're barely even moving your foot through the water, but yet you're propel propelling yourself, you know, very easily. For sure. Um, so not using a lot of oxygen, not using a lot of energy. You're, you're really just kind of using that same kick that you would use in a, in a fi uh, carbon fiber blade and then having to increase it down the line with a little bit harder kick to get that same kind of propulsion that you would in a carbon fiber. Um, really good fins. You know, I definitely like my flights a lot. And it's something too, like we were mentioning earlier, if you want and you have this SEAC pocket here and the plastic blades, you could actually transfer them in and make the flights with these SEAC uh, foot pockets as well, and you can make them fit if you're looking to kind of get into that next step and get your carbon fiber blades as well. Definitely, and other foot pockets as well. Yeah. Most of these uh, composite blades are all made to fit a wide variety, sort of like a universal style fit for most foot pockets, so. Um, but yeah, the carbons are gonna give you that extra efficiency that you're looking for. For a true free diving, especially for line diving, Almost everyone is running a uh, carbon fiber blade. Um, 
you know, where you're really trying to peak every little ounce that you can get out of that fin. And there's even, you can go way deeper into like the mechanics of how a carbon fin works, like the flex profile, the types of sure. materials, that kind of thing. Um, Rape angles and oh, yeah. all kinds of different stuff. Yeah, it gets pretty, pretty deep. I'm not gonna bore you with that though. No. One cool thing is though, is you get to <laughs> get like different colors into them, right? Yeah, so we have a ton of options. The flights, uh, we also have another model called the Apollo, which is a little bit different dimension. Um, same deal with those, any color you want. Everybody likes to look good. It's half of free diving is looking good. You yeah, know? Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> got to fake it to make it sometimes. Definitely. So this is what we've got, good, better, best. If you're going to start out, you're going to be looking at possibly a plastic fin. Um, keep in mind, if you go with a modular foot pocket, you can always upgrade that blade in the future. Um, in the middle, we've got the fiberglass. Great, durable setup, much more efficient than a plastic fin. Um, and then at the top end of the spectrum, we have the carbon fibers. And those are gonna give you peak efficiency, really maximize your free diving and oxygen consumption, or reduce your oxygen, oxygen consumption, rather. Um, yes, don't wanna maximize that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so those are the three that we have for you today. And uh, leave us a comment down below. Let us know which type of fin you're using right now, which one you prefer. Maybe you prefer a fiberglass over a carbon. Some people like that. But uh, let us know, we wanna hear it. Also, the carbons make a very satisfying noise. Yeah, love doing that. <laughs> love doing that. Cool. Thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. Like Eric said, leave your questions, comments below, and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions. See ya. Your hair looks great, by the way, today. We don't need to go there. I hope it doesn't edit that part out. <laughs>